So Luna and I made it to our first night of camping on this trip. This is Williams Hill Recreation Area, which is BLM land. It's in um, kind of the southern part of Monterey County. And I'm actually on my way to Big Sur and I wanted to spend the day here to relax, enjoy some camping um, and enjoy this beautiful spot because it's got great reviews. So this location is about 2,700 elevation and it's basically east of Big Sur, south of San Jose and north north of Paso Robos. Um, and I am really happy I got the last camp spot available. So I'm just setting things up, making the bed, and I'm about to do a little reading before taking the dog on our first walk. Okay, I'm not sure how bad the wind is, but man, this is an epic spot. I'm tempted to move, <laughs> to move my car here. Um, there's a lot of good spots here, whether it's in the campground or not. This is all BLM land, so if you find like a, an established fire ring, um, it's kind of free reign to camp. Like here's one, it's a tiny one, but you could easily park in the shaded area. There's a a ring. Looks like there's one over here. But man, I mean, the campground is great because you got the table and the awning at each location, but this might even be better. There's no one up here because I think you would probably need a four wheel drive for the part that I hiked up. But um, same elevation, you can just see back there, you know, more of an established campground, but. This is obviously remnant, so you could find a flat spot right around here. Um, ATVs and off-roading vehicles are a lot right here, so it's actually what this area is for. So you can see all these roads, that's what that's kind of for. So I'm not sure how noisy it gets, but wow, this is incredible up here. So I'm all set up. That's my shirt from earlier. Um, I have window shades in. I made the bed. I didn't make it before I left. So I put on the sheets and the convenient ties. I took out my water, which is usually stored down there. But I thought I'd show you around. That's the bathroom. This is the road. So there's actually going to be some um, motorbikes. This is BLM land, so they can go off-road in here. And um, there were four of them that just rolled up looking to camp. So I'm guessing they're turning around trying to find another spot. But there's like about seven, six or seven spots here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think one more back here. Yeah, one more back there. So I think there's seven spots with the fire rings um and this is the only way you can actually burn up here but i think those are off limits right now but i could be wrong 
So, here's my kitchen setup. I'm making um, shrimp and rice. I was gonna do broccoli, but I forgot the broccoli. Right, Bill? Right? And it's very dusty up here, <laughs> so you can see by the tires. But here's what it looks like with all the window coverings in. My um, sunroof is open right now, but I'll close that tonight. And I'll probably just like crack it just a little bit. But this is just an amazing, amazing free camp spot. It's so well maintained. It's so nice. Bathroom is great. And the dog is happy. And this like little shelter, each, each spot, it's a little shelter and the table and the fire pit. So yeah, we're living a good life, right, Bo? I just take Luna on a little nightcap walk and I'm hoping to go to bed early so that I can wake up early and spend the majority of the day tomorrow in Big Sur and probably about an hour to two hours from the main part of Big Sur like the top the northern part kind of by Carmel so um and tomorrow's Saturday so I'm not worried about traffic but um, yeah, I'm hoping to go to bed early, wake up early, and, um, just have a full day there. And this place is incredible. I don't, I think the only reason anyone would write a bad review is just if they're expecting some sort of glamping situation, but for a free camp spot, this is the best I've seen, for sure. So, we'll be coming back. Right, Bill? I know. So when I plan my car camping trips, I usually don't really carve out much time to just enjoy camping. And so the goal of today was actually just to spend time at this campground and enjoy some of the peace and quiet, go on some walks with the dog, get some reading done and just chill for a little bit. I think sometimes I am guilty of kind of making everything, you know, important of how much can I see and how much can I do. And sometimes it's nice just to relax. Here I'm playing obviously with the dog because she has a lot of energy at this time of day. Um, I usually have a long leash with me, but when I go on walks with her, I usually just bring the regular leash. So, um, but yeah, this is a beautiful spot and it's just nice to just kind of enjoy the element of camping um, before heading off to Big Sur the following day. Sleep, boo. Well, how did you sleep? All right, so it is Saturday morning, a little after 6 a.m. Looks like a beautiful day outside. It's very quiet right now, um, but there was the one group of boys that decided to stay up pretty late. I can sleep through most things, so it wasn't phasing me, but that's typical of campgrounds on weekends in general. Um, so, and they were a few spots over, so it wasn't too bad for me, but, um, <sighs> I slept really well and really comfortably. We're going to pack up and head out, give someone else this awesome spot, and we're going to explore Big Sur. Um, so if you are interested in that component of this trip, definitely stay tuned for the next video and, um, We'll also be camping tonight at a different spot. This location is actually pretty easy to get directly across to Big Sur. There's a road that's beautiful and windy, and um, but that's been closed off for mudslides after their uh, fire last year. So I have to go up towards Monterey and back down the coast, which is fine. It's a beautiful drive. So anyways, that's the plan today. 
Uh, tomorrow will be some hiking. Today we'll probably just do some basic walks because it's a lot of driving and um, stopping for pictures. So, all right, that's it. A dog, my boo, do you need to go outside? No? We need to wake up. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.